What word from Dalmatia? He says that he is taking what he is owed for assisting us in battle. Which is why we must make as short work of this as possible. This was always bound to happen, one way or another. This is just how the Alliance operates. Then what the devil are we to do about it? There is one option. There is a large vein of jade situated west of Dagland. We have spies in place around Dalmatio who could divulge this information, and I doubt he would be able to resist acting upon it. Then we set an ambush in Raoul Marsh and eliminate him as he passes through. I see. And so, in the meantime, we turn a blind eye to the looting going on in Southfield. We would have to, yes. If this is the path that leads to fewer casualties, then so be it. Good. A course of action is decided. Boost never hurts. Understood. Beginning advance. Here I go. Watch this. Be gone with you. Begins. No escape. Be gone with you. 
with you. Defeated. Those plundering alliance scum are no different to pirates. We will deal with them accordingly. Treaty be damned. Dalmazio and his men will be put to the sword. Relocating. The fight begins. No escape. On with you. Can't be. All right. One down. Be gone with you. Can't be. We're not done yet. Very well. Be gone with you. Can't be. All right. One down. Be gone with you. Understood. The fight begins. No escape. Be gone with you. we go. Relocating. This isn't really my style. A bit of a boost never hurts. begins. No escape. 
Be gone with you. a match for the Empire. That I cannot say. However, it is clear that nothing good can come of partnering with your treacherous alliance. If we must fight a war on two fronts, then so be it. So be it. Alatane will be obliterated, but not before I have put your loathsome head on a spike. On my way. This isn't really my style. A bit of a boost never hurts. Get it 
another foe defeated. I've learned some new tricks. Dalmatio's forces have been routed. Now there is no one to stand in my way. Let this be the beginning of a new era. The era of the Twelfth King, Levantia Shatham. Endings and beginnings. Having repelled the Empire from the realm and reclaimed the occupied region of Southfield, the fourth-born Prince Levantia Shatham becomes the twelfth King of Alatane in Witsbreth 1503. The ascension of a new monarch to the throne was expected to put an end to the kingdom's enduring hardships. And yet, beyond this veil of hope, the darkness creeps ever closer. Soon after the coronation, the Blue Foxes must deal with Alliance looters down in Southfield. These are soon crushed, but it emerges that Imperial troops remain in Alatane. The Kingdom sends out knights to look for them in every region, but they are unable to locate the remnant enemy headquarters. A full month passes before Frederick receives word that a cluster of Imperials have been spotted. The Blue Foxes head to the location at once. The Guyan Mines in Northfield. This works out. However, that's it. But I'm so sorry. Uh. So I'm apologies. All better. <laughs> I.
Is something the matter, Tremina? Not particularly. Oh. Actually, I might have a job for us. For the Blue Foxes, I mean. What are the details? A Southfield trader called Umbert seems to be having a lot of trouble with bandits. They're clearly being targeted for some reason, and would like us to act as bodyguards. Umbert? You mean this is a relative of yours? That's not relevant. Are we going to take the job? Yes. If the price is right. Good. Then it's settled. I'll provide more details in due course. This isn't good. It seems that foreign soldiers are sniffing around, Castavir. Did you start some new quarrel? Of course not. Certainly not a new one, anyway. Out with it, now. They're likely to be Vermin Commander Dalmatio's men, uh, looking for me. I imagine they intend to kill me, having failed in the past. Did you do something to provoke them? Not at all. It seems they've simply been unable to forget my betrayal. It makes no difference. Does that mean... Are you going to throw me to the dogs? Quite the opposite. You are a valuable asset to the Blue Foxes. I knew full well that you were an Alliance defector when you joined. Your enemy is our enemy. Well, well. Thank you, Andreas. I'll draw up a plan. Tell me what I need to know. All right, then. Would you be willing to accompany us on our next mission, Princess Hesalia? Yes, but... Hmm? In the short time since I left Beazle Tower, it has been battle after battle, day after day. When will people stop killing each other? We carry on killing so that one day we can put an end to it. How does that make any sense? I do not expect you to understand right away. And besides, our enemy this time is but demi-human. A swarm was sighted in the Eastfield Swampland. Preferable to fighting real humans, I'd say. Demi-humans? Those creatures whose bodies are infused with jade? They were once human too, were they not? Why not see for yourself? You'll soon see that they have not a scrap of humanity. We will depart as soon as we are ready. Very well. What news of the Imperial stragglers? It seems they may not in fact be mere stragglers. Have you some new information? Reports claim that there are a significant number of elite soldiers included in their ranks. Our intelligence suggests that the largest gatherings of the Remnant forces are taking place at Gaien Mines. The mines are remote and contain deposits of highly concentrated jade. What's more, the surrounding terrain is barely penetrable. It's the ideal base for the Imperials. Damn it! Is there no end to them? I shall drive them all out! Calm down. How will the kingdom find peace with a king who jumps at shadows? But this is our chance while they are all assembled. We should send our best and crush them. Fine. Do what you will.
The Imperial scum have been found. Onwards to victory. Another triumph for King Levantia. Why is His Majesty in such a rage? How should I know? That is our objective. Here I go! Boost never hurts. Relocating. Hating. Just a grey beard, huh? Right, so. All right, attack. All right, attack. Oh, 
Hold right! Attack! You thought I was just a greybeard, huh? Hold right! Attack! Long live the Empire! Easy. Reinforcement sighted. I'll clear a path. Yes, that looks to be the right position. A bit of a boost never hurts. Relocating. Right. Why would you? Yes, indeed. Yes, that looks to be the right position. All right, attack. Just a grey beard, huh? Just a grey beard, huh? huh? No. Damn! No more of that. Here I go! Everyone, with me! Understood. Beginning advance. Never hurts. Understood. 
Beginning advance. Home right! Attack! Home right! Attack! Home right! Attack! Attack! Home right! Attack! Home right! Attack! It is time. How was that? Shall I go that way then? Home right! Attack! It is time. How was that? Easy. The Imperial threat is vanquished at last. Now we shall make our grand return to Central Field. You don't wonder why the Imperial forces chose to gather in this godforsaken place? If you've something to say, Riaz, then come out and say it. I've grown tired of your weaselly ways. Have you indeed? The Blue Foxes slay the Imperials in Gaien Mines and are making preparations to return home when they receive word that an even larger force has been sighted in Westfield. Frederick immediately decides to confront them, determined to drive the Empire out of the Kingdom. And so, the Blue Foxes march for Rigyar Strand where the Imperials are said to be hiding. The Strand is land that once belonged to a noble named Alrim Lester. It was the place where Frederick and Andreas first met. The thought of visiting Rigia Strand has made my brother rather pensive. I'm not surprised. It is the place where Prince Levantia spent his childhood. I imagine he is particularly keen to rid it of the Empire's presence. Hmm. What is it? And you are also similarly compelled? No, not particularly. Oh, I see. I must have been mistaken. I thought I'd learned to read people's subtleties, but perhaps not. Hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. <laughs> <laughs>